Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm going to introduce you to CSS and then I'm going to show you how to use CSS to style um, text in uh, HTML web pages. CSS is short for Cascading Style Sheets and is a web coding language that works hand in hand with HTML and um, basically it allows you to style HTML web pages. Uh, the syntax of CSS is very simple. It's selector curly brackets, property colon, value semicolon. Um, the part in between from property to value is called the declaration. The selector itself is the HTML tag that you wish to um, style. For instance, if you want to style a paragraph or all the paragraphs in a web page, all you need to do is to put P curly brackets color red. That will turn the color uh, of all the paragraphs in your document to red. And for the uh, for the um, simplicity and making things easier for troubleshooting, what we do is we basically um, type those in a in a way that I'm showing right here in the bottom. Uh, we put the P or the selector and the curly bracket, and then we put um, each declaration in a separate line. This way, you can easily detect um, any error. Um, don't forget that sens uh, CSS is very sensitive, so all those colons and semicolons uh, must be followed as you see on the screen. Um, so let's go ahead and start our first attempt to create a uh, CSS file. Um, what we're going to do is to style this HTML page. This is a very simple HTML page. Um, I have in put a heading 1, a couple of heading 2s paragraph here, another paragraph here. I have um, list items, a table, and a link. In this video I'm just going to show you how to style the headings and the paragraphs and I have other videos to show you how to style lists, tables, and links. The code for this page um, looks like this. I've opened it in Notepad++. Um, it's a standard HTML page, so it starts with exclamation, doc type, and then HTML head. Inside the head, we have title. And also, we have style. Uh, we are going to do internal CSS, which means all the styles, uh, all the CSS styles, are going to sit right here in the uh, styles um, segment, which is inside the head section. After that, we have the body tag, which starts from there and ends here. And everything you see on this page is basically here inside the body tags. So to a style this page, um, I have created this already. It's a style type equals quotations text CSS. So the first code, I'm just going to start uh, from top to bottom. To a style um, H1, for instance, I'm, I'm just going to go H1 curly brackets, I put the enter in between and create a space there. Uh, the first thing I like to style is font family. So it's font-family. I put the colon and semicolon immediately, not to forget. Then um, I press the back arrow. Uh, for, the, for the font family, I can just type Georgia. Uh, save the document and we're going to refresh this document and immediately the text for this will change. Uh, the second item is font size. So let's go font size. Again, uh, colon, semicolon, go back. Um, let's experiment. I'm going to put 22 pix pixels, so 22 px. Save, refresh. It's a bit too small. Let's make it larger. Let's go 28. Um, I'm pressing Control S. If you're on Mac, you press Command S to save it, and then we come here and press Refresh button. There you go. All right, I'm happy with this. I'm going to go to the next line and start doing um, H2 now. So the same thing. Um, I create the curly brackets. Um, 
and do the same thing change fonts family and font size you can easily copy duplicate it from here as well I'm just highlighting highlighting these two lines copy and paste and I'm going to change the font size perhaps to 22 let's see what it looks like uh, not bad what if we go to 20 so there you go to zero refresh and it looks much better um, next line we're gonna go for paragraphs so P is the HTML tag for paragraphs and here again I'm going to copy and paste the font family and font size and then perhaps change these a little bit I can make these let's experiment a little bit I'm gonna put Arial and for font size I'm going to f have 14 refresh so there you go we have a styled all the paragraphs headings from top to bottom um, let's take a look at here and see what else is available uh, we can also create text indentation we can do text alignment uh, we can play around with this and create multiple different things so why don't we uh, start with text indentation first for instance I'm gonna go back to the paragraph and go to the next line do text indent uh, let's go for 25 pixels 25 px uh, see how it goes yeah not bad so it indents the first line for about 25 px it's a little bit too much so I'm going to reduce it to 20 to 20 pixels and yeah it look it looks much better so I'm happy with this um, what if we work with uh, text alignment a little bit so for heading number one I'm just gonna come here and then do text align again colon semicolon go back and I'm gonna put center refresh there you go it brings it uh, heading number one uh, to the center um, you can also change the color as well I do have a section for uh, color so I recommend you guys to watch that video but quickly let's just play around a little bit um, I can go here for instance for h1 I can put color colon semicolon and then I can play around here um, I'm, I'm just uh, gonna put green here so we can simply see that the color of h1 is changed one thing I want you to notice is when I change or style anything here it will affect the entire document so everything you define here for P for instance will affect all the paragraph all the paragraphs in a web page when I changed H2 styling it affected all the heading twos in the document so there you have it um, I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching